The SAR-21, Singapore Assault Rifle, 21st Century, is a bullpup assault rifle designed and manufactured in Singapore. First revealed and subsequently adopted by the Singapore Armed Forces, SAF, in 1999, it was designed and developed over a four-year period and was intended to replace the locally license-built M16S1 by the Singaporean Ministry of Defence, MINDEF, Singapore Army and the Chartered Industries of Singapore, SIS, now ST Kinetics. Many of its design features are directly intended to counter the weaknesses of the M16S1 as encountered operationally by some infantrymen. The rifle is being sold for export use aside from domestic use. In the United States, it is being marketed by ST Kinetics via its American subsidiary, VT Systems. History and Development Since the mid-80s, the SAF had an outstanding requirement to come up with a replacement for their M16S1 as most of these had been in use since 1973. In 1994, a proposal by SAF was submitted to the MINDEF for options to either procure newer weapons, thought was given to purchase the M16A2, or to develop its own indigenous rifle. On November 19, 2002, a patent was filed with the United States Patent and Trademark Office by Tuck Wachi and Felix Tsai with the patent number 6,481,144B1. MINDEF officials, after consultations with the SAF, decided against buying weapons off the shelf as it would require soldiers to adjust to the new weapon, choosing instead to develop a weapon, designed and made specifically for ease of use by the conscript soldiers of the SAF, who are mostly of slighter physiques. Coupled with the rising costs of maintaining the M16S1S in SAF's armory, this made it even more justifiable to develop a low-maintenance weapon. Design The SAR-21 is made of a rugged, high-impact polymer, most of the manufacturing is done utilizing CNC machines with ultrasonic welding for the steel-reinforced receiver halves and the gun barrel being cold hammer forged. It uses a modified stoner operating system, boasting higher reliability and lower recoil. The translucent magazine allows precise assessment of current ammo load. The SAR-21 is also the first production assault rifle of its class to incorporate a built-in laser aiming device, LAD, powered by a single AA size battery, as standard. It has a five-position switch which can emit a visible beam at high or low power. It can also be set to steady on or momentary on which is triggered with the use of a pressure switch activated with the user's left thumb. The rifle incorporates various patented safety features, such as a Kevlar cheek plate and overpressure vent that protects the shooter in the event of a chamber explosion or catastrophic failure. It also has an integral 1.5x optical scope that is built into its carrying handle, a 3.0x version is also available. The scope aids in target acquisition, particularly under low-light conditions. The scope is factory zeroed, and requires minimal further zeroing to suit different users. This minimizes non-training range time. Design Issues Early users of the weapon in the Singapore Armed Forces experienced many problems due to their unfamiliarity with the bullpup design. Their criticisms usually in comparison with the M16S1 rifles they were already trained with, include the awkward position of the magazine well, and the difficulty in changing magazines, requiring multiple hand changes due to its bullpup shape. The awkward position of the fire selector, located at the butt, with the action, as opposed to the thumb selector on the M16S1. The sluggish trigger pull compared with the crisp trigger of the M16S1. The weight of the weapon. The increased muzzle blast, due to the muzzle being nearer to the user's ears. Being told by instructors that it is a right-handed only weapon and left-handed soldiers having to, and are still being taught to, fire with their right hand. Iron sights that chip off easily when weapon is dropped. Lack of internal illumination of the scope, the crosshairs in the scope are virtually invisible in the dark. Some of these criticisms were addressed with design modifications to the later production models. New weapon handling procedures were also introduced. The magazine changing issue was solved with training soldiers to always hold the pistol grip with their master hand. The charging of the weapon and reloading of magazines are to be done by the non-master hand. 
the sluggish trigger pull was improved by using a stiff sliding plate in place of the flexible rod. The stair ox styled iron sights were replaced with stockier, hardier ones. The Kevlar plating on the left side of the weapon butt, where a right-handed user's face would typically be, is effective in protecting the user from any internal chamber explosion by directing the resulting force to the right. However, that resultant force would also seriously injure anyone unfortunate enough to be on the right side of the weapon. In the case of a user firing from his left shoulder, this could cause severe injury to his face. As a result, all left-handed SAF soldiers are taught to fire from their right shoulder as a safety measure. The SAR-21 was designed with a small inbuilt brass deflector to eject spent bullet casings forward, thus reducing the chances of the spent casings hitting a left-handed user's face. This means the rifle is not completely ambidextrous but may, in a pinch, be fired from the left shoulder. However, ST Kinetics has taken these criticisms into consideration and had improved the SAR-21 design with the upcoming SAR-21A. The prototype was unveiled at the Singapore Airshow 2010 and production began in 2012. Operation Like the M16 rifle, the bolt locks open on an empty magazine. When the magazine is exhausted, it is removed by depressing the AK-style lever. Clearing the weapon is accomplished by removing the magazine, pulling the charging handle to the rear, and observing the chamber. After loading a magazine into the housing, the weapon is made ready by cocking the weapon, and engaging the FN mag type safety button forward of the trigger guard. The position of the fire selector button, semi or auto, on the stock may also be adjusted. The on slash off switch for the lat is located on the left hand guard, when holding the weapon at ready, the left thumb rests naturally on it. With sluggish operation due to fouling, the gas regulator setting may be increased by turning it with a coin, screwdriver, or any other thin flat object. Alternatively, the gas regulator can be unlatched and turned by hand with aid of the knurled surface. Variants SAR-21 Light Machine Gun, LMG Fitted with an open bolt, it has a heavy 513 mm, 20.2 in, barrel with an integral folding bipod and a foregrip. SAR-21 Sharpshooter Same as the basic SAR-21, but has 3.0x optical sight instead of standard 1.5x sight. The sight picture is composed of luminous black paint, allowing easier target engagement at night without use of the LAD. SAR-21 Grenade Launcher, GL Attached with a CIS-40 gallons or M203 Grenade Launcher Several sub-variants slash prototypes incorporate different targeting modules, or mounted on P-rails, for grenade target acquisition. Known sites to have been used include aiming quadrants, various optical sites and laser fire control systems. SAR-21 P-rail Has a Picatinny rail in place of its integral optical sight. Charging handle is moved to the left-hand side of the weapon, interchangeable with right side. SAR-21 Modular Mounting System, MMS Has integral optical sight and LAD removed to allow a wide variety of add-on tactical accessories, such as vertical assault grips, tactical lights and reflex sights. Charging handle is moved to the left-hand side of the weapon. Similar to P-Rail model with exception of shorter barrel. Variants consist of a standard and carbine-based barrels. SAR-21 Lightweight Carbine a lightweight SAR-21 variant was revealed during the Asian Defense Exhibition held in conjunction with 2006 Asian Aerospace. The variant boasts an ultra-short barrel and shorter handguards. A Picatinny rail is used as well. RCF Module The Round Corner Firing RCF, module, similar in concept to the Israeli Corner Shot can be attached to any of the above SAR-21 variants for conducting operations in an urban environment. SAR-21A The prototype was unveiled at the Singapore Air Show 2010, this updated variant boasts sturdier thumb selector for ambidextrous control, an unloaded weight of 3.2 kg, 7 pounds 0.9 ounces, a full built-in Picatinny rail along its length and a higher rate of firing at 900 rpm. In production as of 2012. Users Brunei, Royal Brunei Armed Forces
Indonesia, Indonesian Air Force, used by Corps Pasukan Cause Special Forces Unit. Morocco, Peru, Special Forces. Singapore, Singapore Armed Forces. Thailand, Special Forces. Sri Lanka, used by Sri Lanka Air Force Regiment. Type Bullpup Assault Rifle. Place of Origin Singapore. Service History. In service 1999 present. Used by sea users. Production History. Designer Tuck Wachi and Felix Tsai of Chartered Industries of Singapore, SIS, now ST Kinetics. Designed 1996. Manufacturer SIS. 1999-2000 ST Kinetics 2000 present produced 1999 present variants C variants specifications weights are 21 4 kilograms 8.82 pounds SAR 21 GL slash M203 5.3 kilograms 12 pounds SAR 21 Pireal 3.6 kilograms 7.9 pounds. SAR 21 MMS, 3.5 kilograms, 7.7 pounds. SAR 21 lightweight carbine, 3 kilograms, 6.6 pounds. Length 805 millimeters, 31.7 in. SAR 21, SAR 21 40 GL slash M203, SAR 21 Pireal. 680 millimeters. 26.8 in, SAR 21 MMS. 640 mm, 25.2 in, SAR 21 lightweight carbine. Barrel length 508 mm, 20.0 in. Cartridge 5.56 times 45 mm NATO. Caliber 5.56 mm, 0.22 in. Barrel single barrel 112 and 1 twist options. Action gas operated, rotating bolt. Rate of fire 456 50 rounds slash min. Muzzle velocity 970 m slash s, 3182 feet slash s, m193. 945 m slash s, 3100.4 feet slash s, ss109. Effective firing range 460 m, m193. 800 m SS109 feed system 30 round detachable box magazine proprietary or standard magazines sights 1.5x or 3x optical sight backup iron sights please subscribe and thanks for watching